So this week, a member of my Discord reached out and said, I have created this layout, and when I add overflow hidden to this div with a fixed height, then all of a sudden there's a lot of space underneath my footer. And in this video, I want to take you along in how I approach to debug issues like this. Because after over a decade of building frontends, the approach is still so simple. It's all about... We're not going to say that. <laughs> Let's dive in. So let's first have a look at what exactly the issue is. They've created a Tailwind playground where they put in the code and everything is minified. And of course, that's horrible to look at, but we don't even need it. So we're going to open the preview and then we're also going to open up the inspector. The issue specifically has to do with the scroll bar you see in the page. They've added an overflow to this div. And as soon as you do that, there's also a scroll bar in the page. Because if we would go to this element and would remove the fixed height, then the scroll bar is gone because there is a lot of room to scroll. And as soon as that fixed height is added or the overflow, then all of a sudden you see the large scroll bar. And it could be many things. It could be that the footer is positioned weirdly, but also if I remove that overflow, it seems like it has to do something with those elements. So my approach is always to start with deleting stuff. And I always like to use the inspector for that because it's so easy to just, for example, take the footer, delete it, and it's gone. And we could even command Z to undo so we could still see it. Let's start by deleting stuff. And what I'm looking for here is if I delete stuff, if that scroll bar changes and I didn't expect it. If I, for example, delete this top and I see the height and that's about the height the scroll bar changes, it kind of makes sense. So I won't bother with looking into it. But I want to have an as clean as possible layout here with as little elements in there so we can start debugging. This kind of is what we're looking for, I guess. And we could even say we just added these class names so we're going to remove as many things as possible. And now I already know that it didn't have anything to do with the structure of the page, with the class names, with the flexbox, something like that. That was all not the issue. Because we now have a pretty empty page and the scroll bar is still there. It became a bit less in height, but that of course is because we removed items. The next approach is to open up this element and see what's going on in here. If we hover these items, you see that the browser is showing them outside of its parent container. But that's pretty usual if you have an overflow diff, because it will show them, but they're not visible in the DOM and they shouldn't take up any space because they're hidden by the scroll bar. Because if you scroll, then they will move up, of course, uh, like you see here. So that's OK. But there's probably something in this list that is calling that weird scroll bar. Let's go to the very last item and just delete that. And then you notice that the scroll bar changes. So it has something to do with this item or with every item probably. Let's open it. And we just keep on deleting until we found the element that's actually causing the shift. So let's take this label and simply delete it. And you see there was no change in height, which kind of is weird because the label takes up some place, right? So it perhaps has something to do with this div. And if we open that, we see that there's a button in there and there is an input, which is the, the checkbox. And if we, for example, delete that checkbox, look at the top here. You see that there is some space that's deleted. So we kind of almost pinpointed our issue. And now let's have a look at what this element is doing and how it's styled. It's styled with inline styles. And that probably means that there is some JavaScript running in the version that the Discord user had. But they just copy pasted it as inline styles here now. And it's a Radix element. So this kind of makes sense that there is some JavaScript involved here. But what I see is that it has position absolute. What you need to know about position absolute is that it's positioned towards the first element that also has a position. So my trigger here is because this is probably causing the issue is what's the element that it's positioning itself to. And if we start looking up into the DOM, I see that the parent does not have a position and the overflow div also doesn't have a position. It goes all the way up until that wrapper div until I find something that has a position. On top of that, what I also notice is that it is position absolute, but there is no top, left, bottom, right position. 
If you position an element absolutely, but don't add that, and also don't have a parent that has a position, that could probably be causing some issues. So let's start with by just adding a top zero, and only doing that already will change something. And that is because our input now is positioned all the way at the top of the page, because I set a top zero, and the first relative element is this div that's around the full page. That means that we pretty much pinpointed our issue. But instead of adding a top zero, which probably is coming from some sort of JavaScript library, we could also make our row position relative. Because by doing that, it will position itself absolutely towards the row. So let's add that and see if that also changes anything. And it did. It just made the scroll bar smaller by adding position relative to this row. So let's do that with another one and see if there's, again, less scroll bar. And it's gone. And we didn't fully fix the issue, of course, because all of them should be position relative. Because as soon as the window becomes smaller, we would have the issue again. Let's test that. And yes, indeed, there is again a scroll bar. So we pretty much pinpointed what's causing the issue. And that is the fact that there is an element positioned absolutely inside of this element where there is no position relative parent for any of the scrollable children. So that means that even though there is an overflow auto, if there is a no positioned element, it will still position itself outside of the overflow and you will see a scroll bar in the regular page. That's very interesting, right? It's also not something I, well, maybe I have seen it before, but I just don't remember because my memory is not that good. But if you learn techniques like this to just debug your issues, you will learn pretty quickly what the issue is. And you don't even need to know all of these CSS tricks simply because you can debug and you can test and just do it that way. So despite this video being a little bit different than other content I make, I still hope this was a very useful video to you. Because seeing how someone approaches debugging issues like this is a very valuable skill to have. If you're also interested in getting a response from me and help you debug your own issues, then make sure to check out from the FYI Pro as well so you can join our Discord and have direct access to this brain. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.